in advance of experience, the child is already equipped with an understanding of the basic structure of any human language. Uh, so we know even in advance of inquiry that there's going to be a fundamental invariant core to language. Linguists have come to use the term universal grammar. It's a notion that there's some underlying set of characteristics that are true of all languages all over the world. All human languages have something that is sort of noun-y and something that is sort of verby. They all do. All human languages have a way to make things negative. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. All human languages have a way to ask a question. If I'm asking a question, I'll lower my eyebrows. Where are you from? What's your name? Who is that person? All human languages have a way to indicate a difference between just one and more than one. In the Eskimo languages, you have not only the singular, for example, ugaik, one rabbit, ugaik, two rabbits, ugaik, three or more rabbits. And so it goes. Each language has a list of obligatory distinctions. Male, female, definite, indefinite, singular, plural, past, present. This is the stock of categories that the human mind uses to schematize experience. And Chomsky asked the question, why is this? Why are languages so similar? Why are they all cut from the same mold? And his answer was, there are fixed invariant principles, fixed invariant structural principles, which are simply part of the human biological endowment and that determine what counts as a human language. It's because the human brain is pre-wired to accept only certain kinds of languages and that the grammatical properties of the languages of the world have those properties that they do because the human mind has those properties. Those things which are true of all languages are the candidates for what the child comes into the world knowing about the nature of the language to which he is being exposed. The child might very well have uh, a plan for what is a possible rule in a human language. So languages can have verbs then objects or objects then verbs, but those are two possibilities that every language has one or the other of. And the child can simply worry about which of those two versions his language has. What he's got to pick up are the particular versions of the rules that everyone else in the community is using.